Okay, so we're going to be talking about a racket that everybody that's been in the tennis community for at least five months uh, prior to this video being released should know about. It's called the Wilson Clash. It's one of the new lines that Wilson started this year and it's been hyped up a lot and I'm going to discuss whether the hype is real or not and what if it's is it worth it is the racket worth it for its price so first price it, it's 250 US dollars and that's where like if there's a new professional racket like high-end racket being produced on the market right when it gets out most rackets are at least at 250 so this is the normal price of a racket that's just being uh, released so it's not above what they're usually released at so the price is the same as most professional rackets um, but why it's hyped up is because Wilson says that there's um, the stiffness is low and that creates extreme flex in the racket frame when you have when you're swinging it now I have one of my friends that transitioned from their Wilson Ultra to their to the Wilson Clash and yeah, the only reason he did it is because he liked that soft feeling and he was able to afford rackets like that and I, I tested the I demoed the racket out and this is my honest opinion on it it's it's not worth it. it it's really not all the racket does is it's it just feels softer I mean I use a stiff racket and going to that racket from my perspective it just feels softer it's not it doesn't play better than my racket for sure the it, 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 it's there's just not much to it it's just the softness that's all I notice I don't I don't really feel the flexibility I feel the flexibility in my own racket and it's, and it's stiff it has like a 69 um, 68 or 69 stiffness rating so I, I all I noticed was like just a little bit like flimsier in my opinion and I'm not used to that but I, I didn't I just didn't like it I didn't feel the control that I, I got from my own racket I used the pure air line I used the 2018 and the 2019 I got the 2019 recently when it came out but I just believe that there's a lot better ways to do what Wilson did for a cheaper price uh, more, a lot more affordable instead of buying a whole new racket you can just customize your racket to feel like that now from what I, I tested okay uh, I, I know for a fact that if you just lower your tension your string tension or you put a dampener like a nice big dampener and then you just like ramp up your uh, swing sp like your racket at speed or like just anything make it feel more fluid you can just replicate the feeling of having a, Wil a Wilson clash and this this it's just it's really nothing it's it's useless <laughs> I mean I don't think the racket's worth it at all it's it's not really like a wor it's it's I don't think anybody wants that racket. I don't know if you if you bought that racket, you're just buying it to like flex on everyone. Honestly, it's not helping. In my opinion, you should just get. There's just so many better rackets for players. Like if you have a really weak arm, right, and you're having a lot of arm injuries, you don't switch to a whole new frame like the Wilson Clash. You get softer strings. You probably don't use polyester strings anymore. You probably go to synthetic multi-filament or natural gut uh, because of those do offer a lot more comfort. If if you're able to afford natural gut, I would. I think that's the best option because even the the twist weight won't be affected too much because uh, in natural gut the elasticity works in almost all parts of the frame, not just the sweet spot. So even if you hit in like the corners of the racket it's still gonna feel comfortable and it's not gonna hurt your wrist in any way uh, compared to using a polyester string where you're kind of forced to hit in the sweet spot or it's not gonna be uh, exactly like it's not meant for you if you don't hit the sweet spot that often um, but it's just not worth getting the Wilson Clash there's so many other ways to replicate the feeling and what the racket does for you so you know 
I mean, I, I would just suggest going for a Wilson Blade. Like, it's the base level racket, basically. That's where you should define all your rackets off of. And if it's not better than the Wilson Blade, I, I honestly wouldn't get it because the Wilson Blade is fairly like on the lower side of prices compared to um, the other extremely good rackets. And it plays extremely well. So if you're paying $250 and you're getting a bad racket compared to like 150 or less, it, it, there's no reason to get it. And like I said, you can replicate the feeling using dampers um, and changing the weights and everything, all that stuff. And then the strings, the tension of the strings, what type of string. So don't invest in a Wilson Clash try different options there's probably something else there for you there's something for the, in the market for everyone but a wilson clash just may not be for almost every player it's maybe for like a small percentage of people that are, that are able to afford it and are fine paying that like price for that feeling there's a lot of better things that you can do um and yeah thank you for watching please subscribe share with your friends uh Make sure they don't make stupid decisions. Make sure they test out everything. I always recommend demoing a racket before. And if you don't feel that instant like towards it, don't go for it. Because there's going to be a racket that you're going to find which you instantly like. And that's the one that's meant for you. So don't go for the first racket or expensive racket that you just see everybody else using.